I wonder how many of these girls could have learned to speak if the staff had simply made the effort to talk to them as they were growing up. There is rarely any eye contact between the children and the carers. The staff treat the children like domestic animals that simply need to be washed and fed. It feels as if the children have learned that no one is going to respond to them, so they have given up trying. The last time we were here, Dee Dee was reading magazines, but now she just sits and has started to rock. Milan has been helping sort out the laundry, but he needs to go and get Misho to help him. On his way, he picks up a friend who has lost the ability to walk since our first visit. A member of staff walks past, ignoring the children. <laughs> the director's sister is the social worker here, so I asked her if I could see Milan's file to find out more about him. Milan's father was an alcoholic and his mother was diagnosed with oligophrenia. Milan too has oligophrenia, according to his records, as do most of the other children. Oligophrenia is not a diagnosis that is used in the West. It's a very broad label created in the Soviet era. It means literally small brain and was often used to justify the warehousing of dissidents in mental yeah. asylums. Yeah, it's a sweater. Different one. What's that noise? <laughs> Who's that? <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Is that you again? It's you, huh? <laughs> The children suffer a range of mental disabilities. Some have physical problems as well, again of varying degrees, but they are all lumped together under one roof and labelled as untreatable, having been diagnosed at a very young age. Most of these children have never been seen by a specialist. Their initial diagnosis is rarely questioned and it becomes a life sentence. Stoyan's crime was to be born blind. 
Some days the children spend hours on end just sitting on the potty. It's more convenient for the staff that way. They know exactly where they are. Stoyan needs help to walk anywhere. If the staff let go of his hand, Stoyan has learned that it is safer to remain frozen like a statue. He will remain like this, completely motionless, until a carer takes his hand. For Vasky, life has been like this for 14 years, day in and day out. Nothing changes. Without love, touch or any form of mental stimulation, learning difficulties can only get worse. Children cannot develop in a vacuum. If no one talks to them, they won't develop speech. Even the most disabled child needs stimulation. And without it, not only do they not develop, but they take on new problems as a result of their frustration. At worst, they can self-harm. At best, they endlessly rock. It makes them look mad, but in fact, it is a normal response to a total lack of stimulation. Today, Stoyan is not allowed breakfast. He is going to hospital to have a blood test, as he has not been able to keep his food down. Stoyan never speaks. He is silent in his blind world. Perhaps if someone had spent time talking to him, he might have learned the power of speech. <laughs> Thank you. 